What is up guys, it's Taylor here and this is a quick video on herb runs and making money with farming. So the items you're going to need for my herb run are uh, some quorum seeds, um, a bloodweed seed, the juju farming potion, and some super compost. You'll also need the ectophile, the green fingers aura, the wilderness sword, and the explorer's ring. So a lot of the items that I just listed are used for teleportation to certain herb patches just like the wilderness sword here where we're gonna teleport to our first patch which is the wilderness herb patch. So when you get to the herb patch make sure to drink your juju farming potion and activate your aura and then just get right to it. It may be a little more dangerous to start an herb run in the wilderness, but it turns out to be a lot more profitable because blood weeds go from anywhere to 16k to 18k right now, which uh, you'll see at the end of the video um, when I do some math is, uh, is pretty profitable. To get to the next herb patch, we'll use the ectophile, and then we'll run up here and harvest quorum. Quorum is definitely one of the more profitable regular herbs as it goes for between 6 and 7k. Um, I'll post a link in the description for the GE prices of the herbs um, because it may change in the future, but for now, Quorum is one of the best. So now you'll use the Cabbage Patch Teleport on the Explorer's Ring to get to the next patch. And if you guys don't know how to get the Lumbridge Ring, all you need to do is complete the first easy set of the Lumbridge tasks. So next we're just going to teleport to Artie, and my screen glitches pretty badly right here, you guys will see, but <laughs> um, basically just repeat the process. One thing I didn't know about when I first started farming that's really useful now is that you can use your um, herbs or plants or vegetables on the uh, little leprechaun there and he will turn them into a noted form which is super helpful for saving space in your inventory. So the next thing we're going to do is teleport to Catherby and we'll head up to this patch right here and just repeat the process and give your herbs to the tool leprechaun. And I always like to kill the unicorn here just for good luck. Um, <laughs> and it adds a little more profit to the trip. So the next thing we'll do is head down to this fruit tree patch and collect our papayas or coconuts, whichever one you can do with your level, and then we'll teleport to Karamja, repeat the process. We should end up with about 18 papayas at the end of the trip. Next we'll teleport to Al Karid, and you'll see again my screen glitches here pretty badly but just head uh, up northeast to the cactus patch and collect the cactus spines. Then we'll head northwest to the glider and we'll go to the gnome tree. Uh, it's really personal preference how you want to get here, but basically we want to get to the fruit tree patch that's outside of the gnome tree. So once you collect these papayas, we'll be all done with the farming run. And the next thing I'll show you is a little math of how much profit we actually made here. So if you just pause the video here for a second you'll see how much profit we made which is about 410 K including the my estimated cost of materials which is about 90 K. So that's a pretty good profit for about 10 minutes of your time that you can repeat every 80 minutes or so. Here I'm just showing you guys what the actual numbers are for um, all the items we collected and the items we used I use watermelons here instead of uh, super compost because I make my own super compost. Uh, so it's really just 89 coins. But that'll be the end of the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.